Hey my little Martians, it's your girl Kwanisha Mars and I'm back again with another video. And as y'all see here today, I have a special guest and his name is... Jerry Sinatra. And today, we are going to be doing a story time. So, this story is like one of the most craziest things that ever most happened to crazy. us. And it's like super crazy. And what had happened, like... <laughs> I couldn't see myself like it felt like a movie to yeah, be honest. Yeah, it really did. That's how it felt. Or something I would read in a freaking book. Right. Like what the heck? <laughs> so basically, this story is um about a high speed chase that we had and woo, girl. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't believe what happened. It's so crazy. And it was recent, like it just like yes, yeah, like on New Year's. Yes, it happened that night. Okay, so let's get right into this video. This was New Year's Eve day, just recently mm -hmm. happening, and I decided to come over to his house, and we watched movies. We didn't like... We had a little mini party, to be honest. Yeah, kind of small, but it was still, you it know. It wasn't nothing lit. like we got drunk or high or anything. Mm -mm. Kept but, it clean. Yeah, we watched, like, comical movies like Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. So, then what I, mm -hmm. then was our movies that we watched that Because she had never seen them, and neither did her brother. So, no. I was like, oh, you know what? And we ate, like, popcorn brownies and... Those brownies were so good. Right. They were so good. Then we had mm -hmm. ice cream with them. Woo. Man, it hit was the so spot good. With, some, with that milk. I swear, I was gonna go to sleep on that movie. Like, <laughs> no lie, bro. That was a good movie. And and then it was New Year's, so we was waiting for like almost twelve to hit the countdown. So we was waiting for twelve to see like the countdown, and so we was all in the living room chilling. Well, the countdown happened, and then we was, she was ready to go home, and so mm -hmm. was her brother. So I was like, okay, I'll take y'all home. You know, we you know we good. This is. Party's over. Everybody was going home, so I might as well went and took them home. So everybody had already left, and then it was just her, her brother, me, and then Christian was there. So yeah. okay, so after we had left this house, mm -hmm. and we like went to the freaking girl yard, and I don't know why we always doing crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, I like to be daring with the ghosts. I like to risk my life in theirs. So yes. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna trick them and go in the graveyard. So I'm going in the graveyard. And we really didn't know he was going to the graveyard anyway. Didn't so know. he like turned. <laughs> and oh my gosh. He ran into a freaking ditch like right there before we got into the <laughs> graveyard. And I'm like, Yo, bro, I was so half scared. The, like half the car was off the ditch. It was like if somebody would have leaned, we like in the like, movies, like yes. if they would have leaned, that car would have been done flipped, flipped over, over, blown up, kill us all. Exactly. I was so scared. So I was like, don't move, don't move. Nobody right. move. And as soon as I said that, they three asses jumped out the freaking I car. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on this side, and so is the other person. So yep. we was finna just end up in the ditch. So I was like, "F this!" And then I, what, how did I get out? Did I climb to the oh, other yeah. person's side? You climbed to the other side, and then jumped out, and basically falling on my face on the floor, trying to not die. Yeah. And the other person just sat back there and was just gonna let themselves die. Right. And I'm outside, like panicking, like, "Oh my gosh, should I run to the hospital or what?" <laughs> and the thing, hospital is like right down the road, so we couldn't like ran down there. So basically. After we got jumped, after I climbed out the car, we was like, freak, what are we going to do? And I was like, I'm not calling my dad. He will beat my ass. I wasn't even supposed to be out that night. Right. He was going away for the weekend. And so I was like, nope, I'm not calling him. I refuse. Right. So I was like, Let's, we might as well hitchhike if y'all ain't got nobody to come. So they was on their phones looking for somebody. And, of course, they ain't got nobody. So we was just stuck out there. Mm -hmm. And I was, on, and then they was on the side of the road. And luckily, somebody stopped. And somebody mm -hmm. stopped and was like, Bro, what was y'all doing this and that? We was like, I don't know. We just swerved to the side of the road and we was in a ditch. <laughs> and then they was like, okay, okay, we'll help y'all. So it was like two people, but it was one car, but two people got out and they was like, we'll help y'all. So they basically, one person was in the front and the other person was in the back. Mm -hmm. So they was like trying to push it. Which way was they pushing it? Forward. And Forward. then they was like, yeah. they was like, hey, this a Honda? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, <laughs> You know you got four wheel drive, yeah. and I was like, no, I do not. And then they was like, yeah, put it in D three. So I was like, yeah. bet. So I put that bitch in D three. D three, and um, they went to the back. Both of them went to the back, and they started pushing it. So mm -hmm. the car finally got out the ditch. And we still went through the graveyard, didn't we? Yeah. 
We, yeah, because um, we had to go that way to get out. Yup. So we went on do, through the graveyard and like we was flicking the lights on and off, on and off. Because like, I do that to mess with them. Bloody Mary or something. And I kept rolling down the window. Yup. I was just going to say, he kept rolling down the windows on us and then locking them. And it was so scary. <laughs> he kept rolling them up. That was funny. I swear. So then, so after we got the help, it was like, the reason why we was looking for help is because, like, it was late, y'all. Like, we didn't think anybody was going to be on the roads. It was, like, 2 a.m. when these people showed up. So, it took us a good, like, 30 minutes. And now, next thing I know, after we finally got to the cemetery, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, man. So, I was like, I got to get y'all home. Y'all going to be in trouble. So, I, like, real fast started taking them home. And then that's when stuff kind of, like, you know. Start happening. Like, what the world... And then, you know, 3 a.m. is the devil's time. Yep. So, as we was riding home, it was like, as soon as we turned, like, a curb, and it was like a truck behind us. So, he was, like, going slow. What? I'm getting chills just oh. thinking about this. <laughs> he was going slow, and then next thing you know, the truck, it was, like, really on the tail of the car, like, right there. And then they was, like, flicking yes. on their lights. When I say like, on my ass, what the world? on my ass. Like, exactly. this is my car, okay, and they're, like, riding right my there. dick. They're, like, on me. Exactly. So, when we kept going on, they kept flicking the lights, flicking the lights, and then they just stopped out of nowhere. Yep. And we was, like, what the world? So, when we was about to, like, go over um the bridge to our house, they sped back up, and they got right behind again. us once again. So, then I sped up, and I was like, okay, okay, you know what, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. We all freaking out in the car, basically. So, I'm, like, driving fast, and then I was going, I, don't, I go about 40, because I drive like a grandmother. I was risking lives that night, y'all. Like, when I tell I was risking lives, like... I usually go about 40, and I usually, like, standard speed lift. I'm, I'm like, the, the roads bitch. Right. But that night, I was going, like, 90 to nothing, speeding like a bad bitch, y'all. I was speeding like I had a fast car when I don't. I was speeding, and then they kept speeding up even more than me, yeah. still riding my ass. I don't know how they stayed on my ass that close without running into me. And it, I thought they were trying to drive me off the freaking road. Right, the way they were so close to us. And yes. then, I don't know what type of truck it was, but it was creepy looking. And we turned to the um curb to go to our house, but I was like, don't go to our house, don't go to our house. Like, just keep going past our house, basically. They was like, no, 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 keep going, keep going, because they didn't want them to know where they lived. Yeah. So we kept going and... We go down the road because there was this other way to go from our friend's house where you like two bridges and then you take a left and you can go to the highway. But it's a little bit away, so it's like a little bit of a long drive. So I was like, man, that's the only way I know how to get home without turning around, but then they could stop us. So I was like, man, we got to do it. And this road is the most hilliest road, like so many sharp corners. You could get hit by anybody. Yeah. So as I'm turning to go on this bitch, I see a red truck with a Confederate flag in the back. And, and that's when shit got scary. Because I'm gay. <laughs> You know, and, and I'm too famous and light skinned for this shit. And you know, they gonna try and kill us because <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm gay and famous. So our famous asses seen that truck and we got the fuck. I swear. We on. started driving so fast and then that truck got behind the other car yep. and both were going so fast, like so freaking fast. I don't know what it was, if it was one of them stalkers that I got, if I made an enemy <laughs> somewhere along the way. Most likely, but it was crazy. You know, it was the that's it was so bad because they were going so fast. So then we got to the highway. So when we got to the highway or whatever, and we kept, we were still on. He was still on ninety driving yes, at and three a.m. Um, next thing you know, we driving the straightaway. But the thing is, it had heat like bumpy hills, big and ones stuff. like and crazy ones. Next thing you know, they the both were still behind us and. Out of nowhere, the um truck that was always behind us, the first truck that was behind us, it moved to the side uh -huh. and like got on the side of us while the other one was in the back. So we thinking they like trying to shift us off the road, right. like get us off the road. So they had like black tent and everything. Like you couldn't you see, see nothing anything. at all. Nothing. So we couldn't tell who they was, what color they was, and how they look, anything like that. So that was yeah. the creepy part. And the truck had Exxon lights. And if y'all know how bright Exxon lights yeah, are, like the blue super lights, bright. you can't see shit. And they was blind and It was on too. bright. I could not yeah. see. So I was basically blind, 
driving a car. It's like that that part in Bird Box when they in the car and they can't see nothing. Right. That was basically us, except we had the little sensors and stuff. Right, in the blindfolds. <laughs> <laughs> And we were, boy, we was going, and that was, like, so scary, because I literally thought we was finna die, and I thought we was finna yep. run to a tree, because I had wrecked before it almost hit a tree, but I thought that, that was gonna be it. So, we got to the highway, but they were still following us. So, yeah, we had to go to the turnaround, y'all, and the turnaround was, like, down the roads a bit, so, we was driving. And so, when we kept going, it was a, like, turnaround. A turn around, thing, and like a, like I a U-turn one Yeah, thing. I guess they didn't know the road liked it and stuff like that, I, so... We, we was like, it's a turn right up here, it's a turn right They were screaming it, and I was like, man, what do I do, what do I do, yeah, if they like, follow me, if they follow me to my house. So, right, so he, I was freaking he out. sped on up, so mm -hmm. the other truck couldn't, like, be blocking the turn where we had to turn. And so we eventually turned, like, super quick. But I had to get in front of the truck before I did it. So basically, what the bad thing was, though, is as soon as like, I got in front of that truck, like the, the truck other, like, other truck started going in front of us, trying to yes. get us. So we had to quickly, like... Hit that U-turn without doing any blinkers so that that truck wouldn't see and slam on brakes. Because, like, they was going to... I thought like they was going to slam on brakes and kill us. Yeah. So, we turned and went around and then... That's... We were good. Yeah. And after that, we was good and we finally went home. But that was the craziest thing that ever happened to us. But, thank God, everybody was safe in the car. We mm -hmm. didn't have a wreck. And God was just with us that night because that was like super crazy and we still don't know who they was to this day But we remember like the other truck because it had a confederate flag, flag. Mm -hmm. but the other one is just Unknown yeah. basically. And the I was too was scared. Unknown. I was traumatized. Yeah, and the people was unknown So so then we was all at my house freaking out like what do we do because I didn't know if I wanted to take them home and risk them like being there again or do I want to just like keep them at my house for a little bit longer? So we ended up staying until about five o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and drove there in the morning. I was sleepy as freak. They were sleepy and we were all just kind of pissed off, but also glad that we weren't dead. Right. So, so that was, yeah, we survived. Yes. So that's and that good. was the end of the story. Yeah. And we do have more crazy story times to tell y'all. Y'all ain't ready we for it. Always go through crazy stuff. That, it, like, it's crazy though, because like right. we don't even. Okay, I would say we don't do a lot of things. We do a lot of stuff. Yes. We, to us, it just don't seem like we do a lot of stuff, I guess. Yeah. And we always end up in these situations, bro. That we never thought we would be like, in. Like, crazy ones that's, like, in movies and shit. Like, <laughs> it's just crazy. So, that is the end of this video, y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed the story time. And, yes, it was crazy. Comment your thoughts below because i want to hear those mm -hmm. have you and, ever been in a high speed chase right tell us below how it so, went oh. and everything and make sure y'all like comment and subscribe go to his channel jerry sinatra mm -hmm. check him out like comment and subscribe on his videos watch his videos because he have new content mm -hmm. and he will be having a song with me out mm -hmm. soon he don't know the release date but he will give it to y'all nope. soon so keep a check out on that and always remember, anyone can find the dirt in someone, but be the one who finds the gold. And see you, girl, in the next video.